Global Soccer Triple O Seven. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys my favorite tips and tricks on Google Chrome. So in this video, I'll be covering a wide range of different tips and tricks um, that you can use on Google Chrome. My top many five or so, and uh, all you need to do to really follow this video is have the latest version of Google Chrome. So with that, let's get started. So obviously, um, with Google Chrome open, we're going to start off the first tip or trick I'm going to show you guys is some awesome shortcuts. Now there's a lot of shortcuts for Google Chrome. I'm going to show you guys my ones that I like to use the most often and are the most beneficial, I think, to uh, speed up your browsing time. So the first one is going to be Control T. Control T is going to open up a new tab. So if you see if I press it, new tabs open, I can continue to press it and it will continually open up new tabs. Along with that one, my second favorite one is Control W, which will close tabs. As you can tell, as I press it, tabs close. Now, if you press Control Shift T instead of Control T, it will basically resurrect your last tab that you closed. So, as you can tell here, I have Life Hacker open. If I go ahead and go Control W to close that, and press Control T to open a new tab, it's not going to open. But if I hit Control Shift T, Life Hacker now will now open again because it resurrects your last tab. Now, this resurrecting thing works for up to 10 different tabs that you closed. So you could close a tab a long time ago and consistently press the Control Shift T button and basically bring that tab back to life instead of going through history. Along with new tabs and stuff, if you go Control N, that'll open up a new window, a whole new window, uh, separate from your current window that you're currently in. Then again, Control W will close that. Now, if you go Control Shift N, that'll open it in a incognito mode, which basically means it doesn't keep your browsing history or anything download, bookmarks, etc. So, last useful uh, shortcut I'm going to show you guys is Control Shift B. Control Shift B will basically access the bookmark bar. So, as you can tell, as I press it, it appears and disappears. All right, so the next thing I'm going to show you guys is a little trick with the bookmarks bar. So normally when you add a bookmark, it looks like this. So if I go ahead and bookmark my homepage here, you're going to see that it has, you know, the logo of YouTube, has the my name of the channel here, and it's going to say YouTube, but can't fit, so it puts dot dot dot. Now, a cool way to kind of bookmark something, but have it like take up less space, is by removing the title. So this is what happens if you, if you remove the title. So if you delete the name from the bookmark, it then shows up as just the logo of the website. Now, if you do this to many different websites, so here I go to Maxim PC and do the same thing. And go to Life Hacker and do the same thing. You can now see we have three different bookmarks in the space that normally one bookmark takes up. And it's a cool, nice, little, neat way of having bookmarks. You can still rearrange them and they still work perfectly fine. But it's a neat way of having more bookmarks um, on your bookmark bar. And it's kind of a nice way and neat way of having them. Next tip I'm going to show you guys is kind of a basic one, but I think it should be mentioned because a lot of people don't realize you can do this. If you head over to the settings of your Chrome browser, you can go to the on startup section and go to set pages. Under set pages, you can set up multiple pages so that when you open Google Chrome, it will open more than one page. So for example, you can have it go to um, your Google, you can have it go to Twitter as well. And of course, have it go to maybe YouTube. So every time you open the browser, it's going to go to all three of them at the same time. This is a neat way, especially if you go to, um, you know, different websites and you don't have mind having multiple tabs open, you can do that, it will open them up. Because me personally, I'm when I open the browser, I almost always go to YouTube, and I always go to Twitter, and I always go to Facebook. So if I have all three open up right away, kind of saves you the hassle afterwards of having to open them up. Next thing I'm gonna show you guys is how to do fake edits, which is kind of a cool thing you can do just for uh, for fun. So here I'm gonna take this article right here of Blackberry trims quarterly losses by 11 million. If you right click it and hit inspect element, um, the inspect element area is gonna pop up here and it's gonna tell us essentially what's going on with this article. We can now go ahead and change the title of this to make it seem something better. So we could go Blackberry and we can change it to something else. So 
So if I change this, boom, back BlackBerry now buys Microsoft and Apple. All you have to do now is take a screenshot of this right here, top part of that page, and, and send it to your friend, and maybe they'll think it's legit. Now, obviously, if you reload the page, that article will be changed back to the normal title. All you've done is basically change the words on the screen. But if you screenshot it and send it to a friend, it's a nice little trick you can play on your friends. The next tip I want to show you guys is creating multiple users. So under the users tab right here, you can hit add new user. This is great for kids or for other people who use your computer. What you can use, you can assign them a profile picture. So for example, we can give them a kitty cat and give them a name. So if their name's Fluffy, then you can name them Fluffy. You can even create a desktop shortcut for the user. And now you can also hit supervise. So there's supervised by you and hit create. It will then open up a new tab for them and give the little uh, icon in the corner there. Now, if you open up uh, your desktop here, you'll see Fluffy has now has his own um, Google Chrome ex shortcut. So if he clicks the Fluffy shortcut, it's going to open up Chrome in his own um, Fluffy environment, which is a great way for kids and other people to use your computer. Of course, if you're done with Fluffy in, in his account, you can simply go back there and click on him and press delete. And then it goes back to being just a one user um, Chrome experience. Now, pretty much the last thing I'm going to show you guys is enabling the gold Chrome icon. So if you right click the Chrome icon on the desktop and go to properties, you can click change icon. If you click change icon, you will be brought to this area here. Google includes a Chrome icon or sorry, a gold Chrome icon for your Google. So if you can select it, click OK, and click OK again, and you'll see that it'll be changed to a gold icon. You may like this, you may not like this, but it's kind of a cool little icon um, to put on your desktop. All right, and so that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Now, I'll, I didn't mention extensions in this video. Now, if you're interested, check out the, um, in the description below, I'll have a link to my top five Google Chrome extensions. It's a great video and has a lot of cool things. I, the reason I didn't, I didn't include extensions in this video is because the extensions are pretty popular and I didn't want to make this video too, too long. But I already did cover my top five Chrome extensions in a previous video. So I will have that video in the description below for you guys to check out. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, leave a like. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can leave them below in the comment section and I'll hopefully reply. And besides that, guys, thanks for watching. This is the Hacker 007, and I'm signing off.